With Windows 10 being gone, a lot of people are going to be moving to Windows 11. So, here's the simplest way to install Windows 11 from a USB without a Microsoft account and how to optimize it so it runs as fast as possible. The first thing we're going to do is go to Google and search for Windows 11 ISO downloads. Then, click on the first result. Scroll down a bit and choose our ISO file. Then, click on confirm. Pick your language and click on confirm again. Then, finally, download the file. I wonder what would happen if I picked a language I didn't understand here. The download process is going to take a while depending on your internet connection, but the main reason we download the ISO file instead of using the assistant is because once the ISO file is downloaded, we can make as many bootable USB drives as we want without an internet connection. While that's downloading, we are going to open a new tab and go to rufus.ie. Scroll down and download rufus. Once both these softwares are downloaded, we are going to plug in our USB into our laptop and then open Rufus. In here, we simply select our USB and then select the ISO file we downloaded. I will keep all settings in here their default. Before clicking on start, make sure that you don't accidentally select your SSD here because that will nuke your system. Clicking next, we get this pop-up here. I'll keep the first option here unchecked because my target PC meets the system requirements. I don't want to create an online account, so I'm going to check this and enter my username. And finally, disable data collection. This is going to make Windows 11 faster. So we've already started optimizing it. We are going to still optimize it some more once it is installed, but this is good. This process here is going to take something like 10 minutes at most. So while it's going, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on all notifications to help me blow up my channel. Thank you. Once this is done, we will simply take out the USB and place it into the target PC. Then, turn on the PC and repeatedly press F2 to bring up the boot sequence. In here, we are simply going to select the USB and click on enter. This will take us to the Windows installation. If you get an error here, you simply need to go to your BIOS and enable UFI and try to install again. Check this one here and click on next. For the activation part, we are going to need a key, so I'm going to go to keysfan.com. Keysfan is a service I use to obtain genuine OAM keys for almost every piece of software that I use because their prices are reasonable. I've been using them for a while now and they have an excellent track record, so you have nothing to worry about. The key I want is for Windows 11 Pro, so I'm going to add that to my cart, then apply the discount code VM50 for a sweet 50% off on the key. And then boom! The product key is in my email. Now, all I have to do is join this and paste it here to continue our installation. There will be links in the video description to KeysFan along with my discount code in case you want to check them out. Next, we are going to go through the installation normally. In here, we simply create a new partition and select it and click on next. And then click on install to start installing Windows. The installation is going to take a while and your computer is going to restart during the installation, so that is normal. Once Windows 11 is done installing, we are going to select the language and then select the keyboard input method. And then in here, I just select I don't have internet. I don't have to create an online account because of that first step we did using Rufus. And as you can see, this is our installation of Windows 11 and it looks good. Let's try to optimize it. Before we start optimizing Windows 11 to be faster, I'm going to open Task Manager and show you the CPU and memory usage while the system is on idle. This way, we have a frame of reference to show our improvements. To make sure that Windows 11 is faster on our machine, we can optimize it manually using the following settings. Windows 11 comes pre-installed with a bunch of apps, so the first thing we're going to do is delete every app that we're not going to be using. I'm going to uninstall Feedback Hub, Copilot, Bing, OneDrive, Teams, Todo, and Use. I still need Edge to install Chrome, so I'm going to leave that for now. <laughs> Next on the chopping block is going to be the Start app and both Xbox apps. When you start your PC, Windows will usually preload apps and processes that you need, but most of these are not required. So, we're going to go to Task Manager, then click on Start Up Apps. In here, make sure that you disable anything that is not system critical. Windows Power Plans allows the computer to adjust its performance based on the power it's getting. We are going to be giving this thing max power, so let's enable the high performance plan by opening CMD and typing Power CFG space dash duplicate scheme and then the following this command is going to be pinned in the comments and video description 
Just make sure that you switch to this plan after it is enabled. There's usually a bunch of services running in the background on Windows. So go to settings, privacy and security and disable the ones you don't need. In my case, all of them. I'm going to disable everything under general and then under speech we disable everything under ink and writing disable everything and for feedback i'm going to set mine to never and disable everything and finally for search here i'm going to disable all these next we are going to search for performance and then set our performance options to adjust for best performance. I'm going to mark this two year and this two year. Then click on apply. After these steps, we are going to go to the test manager and check our system usage. Yes, the before and yes, the after. If you want to learn how to further optimize your system, please click this video here to learn how to completely deploy Windows. Thanks for watching and have a good one.